Hi, Sally. I'm Big Colleen, and this is my daughter, Little Colleen. We are fighting over the same guy. A love triangle? Not. I want her to see that he is a complete jerk. I want him out of her life, and maybe by the end of the show today, she will see what I see and leave him alone. Well, we just heard the plight of mom and daughter, Big Colleen and Little Colleen. Today you're going to hear more of their story, as well as there are some other mothers who say the men in their daughter's lives really aren't good enough for them. And then you're going to hear from a woman who actually says the opposite. She thinks her daughter isn't any good for her daughter's boyfriend. Imagine that. We'll talk to them later. This is Big Colleen and her 22-year-old daughter. We'll call her Little Colleen. They're joined by Little Colleen's younger sister, Tabitha. And both mom and sis say they really do want Little Colleen to drop the boyfriend, Chris. Their exact words were, Chris is a lazy, good-for-nothing jerk who should leave Little Colleen alone. Now, Chris is here, obviously you saw that, he's backstage, and he's going to confront them, and we'll meet him in a few minutes. Big Colleen, you made things sound kind of desperate. Are they that desperate? Are they that bad? Yes, Sally, they are. This gentleman is a habitual liar. He's a habitual... What does he lie about? Oh, he lies about everything, Sally. He stays at work late, and instead of being honest with her about, well, Colleen, I was just working on my car, time flew past, he calls up or shows up at the house with some story about he's been on the side of the highway in handcuffs because the police think that he did a hit and run. He's even got the little marks on his wrist from where he's sitting there doing this to make the marks when all he was is at work. I mean, what's He's so got a heck of an imagination, doesn't that's, he? That's, that's, oh, oh, Sally, you don't know all of it. I'm no, telling. no, 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 oh, no, no. Uh, no. She defends he says, everything he does. No, he uh, said he was at work late at a meeting and he was working on his car. When he was probably really up there shooting the bull with everybody, having a few beers, what's wrong with that? He's a guy. But honesty is the be best part of a relationship. Without the honesty and the trust. Trust? There is no trust in this relationship. None whatsoever. This man, she's moved out of his house and she's moved into mine because he's locked her out of the house and she had no choice but to come home to mom. Now that she His roommates with... changed the locks, thank he you. He locks you out? You had to go stay at her house how many weekends when I come to visit? I was saying I was staying there because I wanted to, not because he locked me out. No, Sally, he locked me you out. got it. He called you. He was, you know, she college. was locked. <laughs> she was locked down. He called me on the phone and he's telling me she's not getting back in until she apologizes to me. Does it not take two to make a fight? He was yes. in Atlantic City. His roommates locked me out, not him. Please, Colleen. <laughs> Little Colleen, why do you think mom and sis are so against him? As my mom puts it, he acts too much like my father. Wrong. What? No, wait, that's wait a minute, Sally, Sally. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, wait no, minute, no. Wait a minute. She says, because he's an habitual liar, he locked me out. But he didn't lock me out. His roommates locked me out. So called, the key broke off on the door handle and they changed it's the lock. Oh, like come that. on, come on. <laughs> the key lock. The key lock no, breaks off in no. the door. What about the back door, the, the side door? Okay, she can't get into any of them. Even but, if and when lock, they give her a key. Yeah, well, she's I never had a key. Never is, had a key. Answer little uh, Colleen. Is he like your the father of little Colleen? Is he like the father? Little? No, da, da, he's not. Da, da. <laughs> <laughs> not. Tabitha, you're the younger sister. Now, how do you get along with the boyfriend? We don't. You don't get along at all? No. Why? Because for one thing, okay, here, here's a good point. He says, this, that. My oh. kids are mixed. Oh, listen okay? to this. My kids are mixed, okay? She's engaged we to black man. My kids are mixed, okay? Not only that, um, Mm -hmm. We picked out a name for her baby, okay? The one that she's getting ready to have, okay? Whose baby is this? It is. Well, now, wait a minute. You want her to give up a guy and she's pregnant with okay, the guy? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Sally. Daddy. Okay, it's best to be raised in a two-parent family, okay? Right. And my girls were not. And granted, they've missed out on an awful lot and it's hard for them to relate in certain ways because they don't see the dad and the mom with the intimacy, right. okay? And, and the communication with the four of us. Okay, and I've done my best to bring that into the household, not by other men, okay, by my, my brothers and, and That's my... That's what father. you have to do. That's but it. is he a racist? Is that what no, you're saying? No, he's not. He's I don't not. know if he's really a well, racist, What does he use okay? language like but that? But he don't like black and white Come together. He, um, like... No, he has he no problem with a... Baby. Baby. He plays his...
He's ignorant. And little Saturday. Colleen, why does he use language like that? That's not. That's he doesn't not... do it all the time, and it's every once in a while. And I do the same thing. If somebody Sally, makes me Sally, mad, coming home. My God, other... just because you say it doesn't mean you're prejudiced. It coming mean home he the other night. Respect my... <laughs> I don't okay. think you're gonna find out. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Respect my kids. Okay, out of the clear blue sky, we're coming home the other night from the mall, trying to find her something to wear for the show. Okay, because she is pregnant. We're coming home. The baby's name is Victoria. What is it, Lynette or Lynette? Lynette. We it's got the name Lynette from a black gentleman that we know. Okay, and I love it. It's his mother's name, in fact, and I love the name Victoria Lynette. We're talking about it, and from the back seat, <laughs> pops. That's a <laughs> name. Since when Sally, do we have black names and white names? Is, is, is this the way it goes, that only blacks have these names? And well, I think have your these... mother is making some pretty strong I points, mean, little Colleen. I, I... And you know what? Even if you think that way, if you say things like that, you think that way. No, Even that, in but he, he, doesn't, he has no and problems with it, because not tell me why he has Well, let's meet him. Let's, let's have him come, come on out and, yeah, and see what he's kids. like. He should respect them. <laughs> Mother has said something very important besides pretty bad language, racist language. Uh, is it true he abuses your daughter? Yes, he is verbally abusive. Sally, this man never gives this girl any credit for anything. I mean, no one in here is perfect. If you are, then fine, okay? I say more power to you. But I'm not perfect, she's not perfect. And like the other night, okay, she's got a classic 72 Skylark. This gentleman gave her a book on where we can order original parts. She's sitting here going, Mom, what is this? So I'm explaining it to her in, in small terms on, well, a hub is this, okay? He's sitting at the table, and he starts, well, and all these big technical terms. This kid doesn't understand it. I do because right. I was a mechanic at well, one time. Look at time. this, look at this, okay? She, oh, this she is, did. Um, yeah, we did. She wore this yep. one night, okay? Yep. It's um like a shirt type thing, okay? It had tassels. We went out. She had a pair of jeans on. She did not wear it like that. She had a pair of jeans on and a pair of boots. We're sitting out at the table, okay? The girl cannot get up, leave the table. I had to walk her through the bar. I had to take her to the bathroom. <laughs> she did not hear all of it. It started uh, at the house oh, because no. he didn't want me because the bar we go to is where I Don't hang out. Don't try. He sat there and told you you look friends. like a slut, a whore. Okay, granted, I okay. wouldn't put it on. So but... you're saying there's no respect for your daughter. He has Chris, none. you've heard Big Colleen's thoughts on your relationship with little Colleen. Uh, how would you like to respond? They're not true, what you're saying. Oh, please. That's it? They're just not true? No, no she's over-exaggerating. Oh, the, no. the biggest problem she has with me is, like they say, about me, in a sense, being like their father. That, and also, not even it. That ain't even it. No, because, it you know, is. My dad it is, too. And it's just as, that I'm just as bullheaded as she years is. Oh, my dad ain't no. been around. Okay. Okay. No. no. You were older you than were I four. am. I she was, was two. two. Okay, and my dad left. ain't even been around. So how do you know my dad goes around? No, I don't say I did. Oh, he no, but everybody else has compared Caddy, that my God. And I said, I'm just as bullheaded as her, and that's why the hell her and me don't get along. No, but you, you don't give her the no respect. respect. You don't I give her the respect her and credit. Your, your Look at the attitude abusive. getting ready to go. Look at right. the attitude what getting ready to go. What about you, what not about her? the airport terminal when you uh, damn near made her fall on her butt, and she's pregnant when you Because you have the bag. Don't even try. Yes, ma'am. You're walking ahead. You grab that thing and pull it I have a question and a comment. What do you mean by What's that about? I mean about language, it comes back to you as oh, right. Can I get an answer? It's not a racial slang, and I'm not a bigot like most people would think. What okay. is it? If it's it's not, not. If you're raised in the South, most people look at white people as being rednecks and black people as. We're being not that. talking about white people. You said the word. What it's do you just mean from where by I'm that? raised and where I've been? You've been around people you've hung around, and you say the same okay. thing walking and down yeah, the street. This is what's up? Girl, that don't mean that I'm dissing her because she black. There no, because the two of you are black and it don't bother you. I have a comment. I also have a comment. How old is she? Big Colleen, what would you like to have happen? In other words, you're face to face with Chris. What would you like to tell him? 
Okay, I, I know she's pregnant, and every child should have the father, okay? As far as she's but, concerned, she wished I came home and told her I didn't know who the father was. Honestly, she said she would have Shelly, that it would have been better for me not to have known that this was the father. I mean, I've got five other grandchildren, and I love them all dearly, and I'll do anything. I've been there for these girls with all their pregnancies. I've helped them get everything and stuff. I'm going to do it for this one, too. This girl is living in my house. She's pregnant. Okay, I love the child. He it's, expects it's, her to buy all the baby stuff. Yeah. She's six months pregnant, ain't nothing bought, okay? Grant, I you don't have, have to buy I have three children. Boys. I have three kids. Chris, is that why you ask? Scholars. Is that why I you asking me for my crib? I got tons of clothes. Who's the father of these stuff? three she children? She wants a candy be crib. Okay, he won't get her one. They're with their father while we're up here. They see their yeah. dad no, every other weekend and every Thursday. You were married before? No, I was engaged. Sally, none of us have ever been married. I was engaged to him for five years. I, but How I'm, many children have all of you had together? I got two. Two, and you had? Uh, these two. Four, and you've had? I have three. Three, and one on the way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nobody ever bothered to get married? <laughs> I'm no. getting married. <laughs> Sally, I I'm wanna... getting there. You're, You're getting there. Engaged, I'm you'd be the there. first in the family to ever bother getting married. Yes. yes. Sally, Amazing. I don't want to ruin some man's life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming up next, find out how far this woman went to separate her 17-year-old from the 17-year-old's boyfriend. We'll be right back. Hi, my mom really broke up with my boyfriend, and I haven't seen him for seven months. Today's going to be the first time that I've seen him, and I hope he takes me back. Talking to moms and some concerned family members who really don't like the daughter's boyfriends, whether they're justified or not, uh, we'll have to figure out as we go along. You've just met Big Colleen, Little Colleen, and the sister Tabitha, and they say Little Colleen is wasting her time with the boyfriend Chris, even though she, Chris is pregnant with his child. Now, meet Patty and her 17-year-old daughter, Sherry. Patty says she actually feared for her daughter's life whenever uh, the daughter was with the boyfriend, Russell. Sherry and Russell have broken up. Mom, did you break them up? Absolutely. I'm proud okay. of that. Okay, <laughs> because Mom forced Sherry and Russell to break up, and ha they have not seen each other in 10 months. He is here, and he will join us in just a moment. First, Patty, uh, why don't you like Russell? He's, he's not right for Sherry. He's irresponsible. Um, he, he, does, he does dumb things. I mean, things that normal people wouldn't do, like... Um, he let her get in his car with four guys in there that had a gun, okay, wait, had marijuana. Let me tell you what and happened. <laughs> she got in the car because he couldn't get him out of the car. So she goes and takes his keys away from him, goes and gets in the car, and where they go to school at, she drove out of the parking lot because there's usually a cop sitting up there that, you know, monitors the traffic. And she thought, well, I'll pull up there, you know, and tell the cops what these guys have got, you know, and let the cops hand. Well, there was no cop there. So what does Sherry do? She turns the corner. And then she stops the car. She says, now get out of the effing car. And I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, these guys have a gun. Where, so, where, are you objecting to Russell's friends who carry guns? Oh, they were cars? his friends. They're but not see, the his thing, friends. But see, They're the not thing his friends? It, what were no. they? No. They, 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 no, no, no. What they wanted Wait, was, the they wanted of it him. Is, they weren't his friends, but after the incident happened, he rode around with them. He took them places. He took them downtown to do their business, so they said. No, they... Well, wait a minute. If you're driving a car with somebody with a gun and they have a holdup or they you're shoot... You're going to feel intimidated by them and you're going to do what they say. Oh, no, you're not. It's illegal to yeah. do that, Thank my dear. You. That's aiding and abetting. Uh-uh. Thank you. Thank Absolutely you. And, not. you know, I didn't do have her... Do you think her... that that... No, let me talk to you. Do you think that's right? That you no, ride around with guns and no, what were I don't they doing think that's with the right. guns? I don't think that's right at all. Mom, um, what were they doing with the guns? Mother Teresa here with Russell, you know. She's okay, got to be mommy to Russell. Okay, but what were they doing with the guns? Excuse me? What were they doing with the guns? Were they just having guns in cars they, or were they shooting no at idea. people? I have no they idea. They weren't shooting at people. Well, they just see, the had thing them of it is, them. see, the thing of it, all right, this is another Are they legal guns or illegal guns? They're I don't know. They're probably illegal because they're just kids. Uh, all right, so, you know, he goes. What else is wrong with Russell? He, go, he goes to put an application in for a job, okay? The same boys that did all this nonsense was over there where he was going to put his application in for a job. Uh, well, man, let us sit here and listen to your stereo while you go and put on your application. He did. 
He did not. Who's going to let anybody sit in their car with the keys in it? The boys took off in the car, okay? When the cops and his mother finally found the boys, the boys threatened his mother, said, we will get you. Well, the next night, what, the, maybe the same night or the next night, uh, he Russell's over to our house. His cousin has her two little boys over to his house. She calls our house. Russell, you have to get over here. Somebody's shooting at the front of the house. Somebody done shot the front of the house. Somebody shot a step. Well, now, wait truck. a minute. We are okay, really talking so, about some serious stuff. Yeah, okay. So, see, you know, I didn't These have These are kids. Russell's friends, and they're, they're shooting at people. They are not his friends. They but are not They're friends, friends enough for him to leave in his car, for him to ride around in the car with them. What else is wrong with Russell? Very irresponsible. This is my kid. I love my girls. She has a twin. I love them to death. I didn't, I didn't, I tried for six years to have them. Right. I didn't have my kids for some lame brain to go out and <laughs> let something happen. Mom, you said you think he's an alcoholic also. Oh, yeah. yeah. He is not drug, an alcoholic. As, as long See, she as, judged, can no, I please as, talk? This is her problem. Long, she will not let me talk. As long as he is with Sherry, he's not an alcoholic. He is what Sherry wants him to be. I'm sorry. People, can you guys be what everybody else wants you to be? I'm not. I'm me for me. He's him this for Sherry. This is what I tried to explain to her, okay? My father was an alcoholic and blah, blah, blah. We started going to church. They changed. They had something to look forward to. They had a reason to change. Well, when he met me, he had something to look forward to, and he had a reason to change, and he started doing for the better. He bettered himself. The minute Sherry's out of the picture, where's Russell? All right. Is the is old bottle again. <laughs> Very hot. Sherry, your mom says you haven't seen him in 10 months. Is that right? No. I think she snuck oh, around. I think she had a few phone calls with him. Have you been him. sneaking around? Yeah, it's been seven months since I haven't seen him. And June, this is okay, in June, she let us go to Portsmouth for his brother's wedding. We went there. He, I was supposed to call her as soon as I got there. I tried to call, collect. I they have said, a paper. I they, have a pager. Excuse me, but it's out of the range. Okay. And they, um, the operator said, call back the answer machines on. Well, her and my sister was out all day long. We went fishing. So... That's not the point. So anyways, we, he got into a car accident on the, while we was down there. I was fixing the bride's hair and everything. He had gotten she into a car accident. She said she wasn't with him, but she probably was. Will you was. please? No, I was because not. Because if I would have known, there would have been all kinds of trouble. Could you please tell her to respect me as well? <laughs> I respect her. Okay. The thing of it was, was okay, I was at his That's aunt's house. I was at his aunt's house, and I was fixing the bride's hair. He went down, it was his mother's birthday as well. He went down there to, to the store to get a card for his mother. On his way back, he had an accident. Well, we had the car towed to his aunt's house, so then we all went to the wedding. When we got back from the wedding and the reception, it was dark out. We couldn't drive because of the headlights were all busted. Well, we could have drove it home, but the, it was dark, and we needed the headlights. So I finally got a hold of around 11 or 12 something, and... Um, I told her what happened, and she started screaming out, and she goes, well, you better make, it, make sure you have a good time, she said, because you won't be able to see him for a month. I was like, what? You know, she, she said, we couldn't see each other for a month. So we got back, she told us that, so he left. And no, 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 now wait a minute, you're forgetting something. Then, a half, um, about an hour later, the phone rings and I answer, it's like one o'clock in the morning, okay? They, they were gonna come home at the, 12. His aunt was they, gonna bring me so, home. So his aunt calls me back and says, well, they can't get the headlights on the car to work, so they're gonna have to stay here. I said, well, why didn't Sherry come? Well, she was afraid, she's not abused, you know? Afraid to call me, her mom? Because no, you I don't scream and yell at me all the time. I don't I like hearing you screaming out. I think it's time we hear what Russell then, has to say. No, it was then, not, no, it was then, not my fault then, he had an accident. And then this aunt, <laughs> this aunt, she tells me, she tells me. Okay, Mom, okay, sis. Russell, come on business. out while I still have the microphone. <laughs> Hi, Russell. Hi. Russell, you look a little like Howdy Doody, not like that. <laughs> Uh, are you, you haven't seen each other for a while. I won't say whether you've been sneaking around or not. Uh, what are your feelings when you see her now? I miss her a lot. Do you? I, are you still carrying a torch? No, I'm not carrying a torch. No? Okay. I miss her more than a best friend than a girlfriend. She used to be my best friend. Oh, you miss her more as a best friend than as a girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, Mother that's Teresa. Kind of cute. Yes. Mother so Teresa. what about this relationship? Could it just be platonic and then mother would be kind of happy? Yeah. It could? I can handle Are friends. Are you sure? Do you know we what talk this marriage stuff. No. Nah, I don't think okay. I'm not out for marriage or anything, but I'd rather be friends with her than a boyfriend. All right. What do you think? No? I mean, I, I still love him and and she doesn't oh. understand. 
see, she's a smart aleck. She does not understand. She says, well, you know, I used to be young, too. and Oh, I understand. But she doesn't understand. I do she understand. She acts like she doesn't understand. I understand. You just don't understand that you are mine. I care. Check this out. Wait, see wait, this wait, little wait, dress? Wait, wait. Russell, does she look like a whore today? This is what she wore to school. And what was it you told her? You look like a whore wearing that. Isn't, is that not what you said? He said people would oh, say you look like a whore. Hey, no, no. I said he people said, would say that. Thank no, you. Man, no, you got yes. Call, yes. Uh, call Russell, my, call my let, other let's, daughter. My other daughter let, was let, Let's call ask some daughter. questions first. If mother wasn't in here, the picture, you'd issue. still want to be her friend, not her lover, right? <laughs> right. They gave it to you. You see, the nice problem isn't with mother. The problem is that what Russell wants is a friendship. I mean, that's what he's telling us, and he's sitting well, right here. Well, he knows just as well as I know if she would not have made us be apart from each other that we would still be together. Romantically? Yes. Well, no I sex. don't know. Would you still be together romantically? Yeah, we probably would be, yes. Okay. Do you drink too much? No, I don't drink too much. I drink once in a while. You know, every young person, I say most What about young your people, friends who have guns and shoot at people's houses? They have no proof that guy had a gun. No one had oh, proof. Oh, what? No, no gun, gun shot bullets at your house? No gun shot bullets at your house? They were known to carry from? guns, but they didn't have a gun. I don't know if they had a gun. Did you see the gun? Oh, and yo, oh, yes, you did, because when I, I went over the there, gun. excuse me, when I went over to the school, when I went over to the school, why would you stand there crying? They got yes, a gun. They got a gun. They might shoot her. They might because even they always carry you. a gun. If you don't have oh, a gun, well, you don't have a bullet. But they always I carry a gun. I have to ask why you think that you like her as a best friend. Best friends are people you protect, people you love. You don't she drive around him. with guns. You don't call them a whore. You don't allow them to shoot up your parents' house. Answer that, Russell. I don't believe she was in any danger. Okay. That when I hung around her. Call Shirley, okay. please. When call he Shirley. Him, he didn't say at that time. God didn't have a gun. First, is, first of all, is this your first child? Mine. Yes. No. Okay. You have no respect for. Wait a minute. We had eight children. How many children have you had? <laughs> Me, I have one. Okay, yeah. nine, and nobody got married. I'm just no, keeping tabs. No, I, 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 I was married. I was married. I was married. Sorry, five eight, years. and one person was married. Both of you gentlemen, you have no respect for these women. I have a lot of respect okay. for no, her. No, you don't. Yes, I if do. If you're going to call her a whore danger, and call her no. a slut, you have no respect. He I didn't call her a whore. No. Yes, yes. And you, you are going to end up dead somewhere. She I, see, I don't I'm going to with him and his friends. You're going to end up six feet under. No. Not as long okay. as I'm breathing. Bullets have no names the on them. That's right. When you said it's not known whether they had a gun, if there's if the house is shot up and there's bullets. Did your stepdad's truck get shot, Russell? Oh, my goodness. Now there's and a truck. The cops yes, ma'am. <laughs> It's getting worse, Russell. Go ahead. Yeah, no I have proof two they comments did that. for the, um, the, the, mom, the mother and the daughter over here. I think the mother needs to step in because it seems like her life is in danger. There's guns Thank and you. all that stuff involved. It, but with this couple here, I think the mother needs to step off. And oh. be, well, hear no. me out first Even because no, because see, um, I'm, I'm speaking from experience. Okay. Children tend to rebel against the parents. She will wake up one day and she will see for herself. As long as you're stepping in, she's gonna keep running towards him. If you leave them alone, she like will I'm find out for herself. It's not like a 16-year-old child where I need guidance. I'm 23. No, I she will find out for life herself. Like I know how. If you they don't, don't want I'm me, speaking from experience. Oh. I didn't listen to my I, mother I think either. This, I think this woman is making a point. The more a mother objects to somebody, the more that person's gonna look like the knight in shining armor. But there's an objection armor. before, and it's not done anything, and she's taking the advice. But when you get called a slut, a whore, your car is no I see, good. you're saying you, you have to step up. Right. Let, 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 let me hold on. Let me hold on. Let me. hold on. Let me. save somebody that doesn't want to be I saved. agree with you completely. Let's, yeah, let's take a look at another situation and find out if there's any hope for these relationships. You think you've seen it all when it comes to moms and daughters who don't get along? Think again. You're going to meet now the mother who says her own daughter is not good enough for the boyfriend. Her own daughter is not good enough for the boyfriend. Family loyalty? Stay with us. Colleen doesn't get along with little Colleen's boyfriend, Chris. Do you think he's so bad? Patty doesn't get along with her 17-year-old daughter's boyfriend, Russell. Do you think he's so bad? Well, now meet Kim and her parents. The parents are Barbara and Bird. Like these other relationships, Kim and her parents disagree over Kim's boyfriend, Stuart. However, this is the twist. You see, Mom and Dad don't think their own daughter, Kim, is good enough 
for her boyfriend, Stuart. Now, I really have a problem with that. Is that correct, Dad? It's not that she's not good enough. It's just they are always arguing and fighting. It's her fault. <laughs> right. If she would do halfway right, they wouldn't be arguing and fighting and, and things. But do you think when they argue and fight, your daughter is wrong and the, young, wrong. Man, and wrong. the young man is right? He's right. Okay. Barbara, as a mother, do you think the young man is too good for your daughter? Absolutely. She's gone with him probably four and a half years, and I'll say in four and a half years, she may have cleaned the house six times. He has a full-time job. He has a full-time job. He comes home, cleans the house, does the clothes, cooks her breakfast in bed, uh, takes her son to school, picks her son up from school. Uh, she watches TV. So you're, oh, how, how do you, how do you feel right? uh, about well, your parents? She doesn't mind him to start with. She doesn't <laughs> mind him to start with. <laughs> mind him, let's not him. He takes, this man thinks women have to mind their husbands. They do. If you marry her and take yeah. care of and no, pay her, don't. they're supposed to mind. No, you don't mind your husband. Do all you want to. Wait, wait a minute. You don't mind your husband. There's a, there's a clinker to the story. Kim, how do you feel uh, when your mother and father say you're not good enough for somebody? Well, it really bothers me. I left him for a month one time, and they told me, they said, don't call me. Don't call me until you go home. But they side with him, right? Oh, yes. And why? Well, no matter what I do. Who takes care of the baby? Uh, yeah, he does. He takes him to school. But no matter what I do, I don't care what I do, he's right. Where is he today since he's not with us? Oh, he, well, he is he at home. He had to take Michael to school today. He is at home. But he was not here because he had a court case. What court case? Um, well, he smacked me. Well, he so. smacked her. Oh. And why? Why? Oh, doesn't make Wait a minute. Ready? Well, I don't does, care Has why. he smacked you more than once? Yeah. We've argued. Does uh, this young man abuse you? No, I mean, we've had arguments, you know. Well, he's, wait a minute. Oh, if he's in court, if he's in court, he's in court for abuse. Yeah. <laughs> now, okay. you think that a man who abuses her is too good for her? How long is I it? don't think he should hit her, but she put herself in a position. Her mother minds... <laughs> her mother minds me. Yes, ma'am. No, no woman, no. no matter what she does, deserves right. to be hit. That's right. Ever. Right. Ever. Say. You cannot justify that. No. So let me understand right. something. A man beats up your daughter. No, he he is going to court. He, he did beat, beat her up. up. He's in court. We slap. checked the records. Oh, oh no, 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 please, please, Little please, slap, please, sorry. Please. He's in court for it, and instead of defending your daughter and saying, I'll kill the guy, you say he should have done it? Exactly. Me and this man have been friends for 25 years before she was ever born. Oh. This lady here, oh, no. I've been married to this lady 22 years. And we, we're still married today, and half you wish you was married that long, no. and you might not think you're in an not abusive you. relationship. You. We not get you. along just fine. Do you hit her? Yes, huh? I will. Do you Please. smack your wife? I've smacked my wife on several occasions. Oh, she put yeah. herself in that position. Yeah. Get some of your audience to tell the truth how many times they smacked their wife. Oh, 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 oh. Is, she, is she your no. only daughter? She's your only there. daughter, and you treat her like. Ass. No, I love my daughter to yeah, death, Yeah, but you, young you lady. say it's okay for her boyfriend to hit her. I didn't say it was okay. Her? I didn't say it was okay. I said but she you, brought it on herself. That's sick. Oh, no, no, that is, no, no, if that was my no. father, that guy would be in jail. Wow. I bet you. I bet your boyfriend is smack you. My boyfriend. I would no, not no, stay no. with a boy who would hit well, me. I would she, never let my she, boyfriend lay a hand on me. God bless Never. Never. God's listening to you. Never. God's listening to you. Why would I have to lie? Huh? Bird, Bird thinks you're on that national TV. Bird thinks this is normal TV. behavior. No, Go it's ahead, not ma'am. What I would like to say all is... Marriage is a woman gets smacked. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I would like to say is, what is, um... The town I'm from, it happens like that. What town are you from? Oh, Richmond, from? Virginia. Oh, Richmond, Virginia. Oh! Come to Brock, New York. If I were living in Richmond, Virginia right now, I'd move like out. That, you would. What I would like to say by your daughter getting smacked by her boyfriend, is that making her a better woman or something like that? D excuse me, man? By your daughter getting smacked by her boyfriend, is that making her a better woman? To no, treat him better? Made. I'm not saying he should smack okay, her. Okay, so you... If she would just do halfway right. 
Who are you to tell her how to treat her boyfriend? Do you are you there twenty four seven with them? You know, as they're together I to know. watch Am how I he treats her. No, yes. I know. So I suggest you should mind your business because you don't know what the situation is if you're not there all the time. And yeah. And I don't think that you're a good father. I don't think that you're a good father by you knowing that your daughter's getting smacked around by another man and you allow that. Well, she, you're not a good father at all, because if it was my father, you would be right. dead. I haven't been a good father. You haven't been, and you're you haven't exactly been a good right. husband I haven't been either. a good father, but you don't know nothing about what you're talking about, okay. so sit down. No, I don't have to sit down. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 it's sweetheart. Oh, and you as the mother. She has had every opportunity to come to All right, Al. does your husband Let abuse you? No. Oh, he doesn't abuse he, you. He has. He no, just said he smacks he you. Abused me. This has been over ten years ago. He's not, not put his hands on me in ten years. You look like he you've been abused. Yes, ma'am. Hey, if you want my father, if you want my father, I will not have any respect for you because well, sure you're I don't care. If it was okay, a you said what you had to say. Sit down. That you were friends <laughs> with her well. man. Your him. daughter is first right. on the list. <laughs> You need to get a grip. Ask, hey, Sally. Hey, Sally. Hey, Sally. Hey, Ask my daughter what where is she at when she leaves the house for weeks at a time and her son is there and the man has to stay off of his job to babysit for him for the little boy, has to cook his meals, do his clothes. Where where is she at? Mom, I, I ask you the question, who's responsible for your daughter's uh, not being reliable? Not me. Why I've not? Always, she's Why been not? always been Why? at my house. Why? You may no. have brought it up, she, brought her up that way. She could have come to my I house. I see that on talk show all the time, but the way they're brought up, the child chooses their own path. Yeah. Yeah, when they get 13 or 14 too. years old, the way they're she brought up, that's the biggest, that's the biggest bunch sense. of crock I've I ever heard in my thing, life. It wouldn't be the me. way they're brought up. That's my right. good yeah. God Almighty. The child went to school when she was young. She did right. She didn't run the streets. She didn't smoke dope. The way they were brought up. Were you there? When I was 13, I was living by she myself. She can't clean up her I house. I got the best mom in the world. She, she like a man smacking on her. That's ridiculous. Well, if the father smacked on the mother, then the daughter is going That's to get right. smacked by the boyfriend. Starts, yes, go ahead, sir. It starts at home. It starts at home. Yes, sir. Okay, the in individual with the hat on, I, I don't think it shows any class to hit a female. I never did in my life. That's right. It's something to think about. There's a lot of people that have. You sort out things verbally, not physically. Yes, ma'am. You're with the hat on. I, I don't think you're a good Bird. father. I don't think you've ever been a good husband because you hit her. You have no right to hit no woman. Maybe you was abused. You yeah, should have been abused. I would like to be your wife. You, you would never say? hit me. Stand up. <laughs> Ask him. Say, were you abused? I have a question. Uh, what? Uh, what is Bert? Well, <clears throat> you may, your name might be Bert, but I don't think you deserve a name. Were you abused as a child? No, I won't abuse. Yeah, I'm willing to bet you were. You want to bet? I'll he bet you were, and if you weren't, you should have been. He yeah. Do any of these relationships stand a chance? You'll find out. We'll be right back. Yes, Sally, they do have a chance, and I'll tell you why next. Introduce to you a dear friend of ours, uh, one of my favorite people who comes to join us. This is psychologist Dr. Gwendolyn Goldsby Grant. And she specializes in issues. Yes, you can give her applause. Why not? I think she's dealt with a lot of mothers and daughters in her time. She's also the author of a best selling book called The Best Kind of Loving. All right, you've heard the stories. Yeah. Uh, and I want to tell you that there are more yes. mother, daughter, I don't like her boyfriend, or I don't like what's going on than you can shake a stick at. Yes. Um, why does this happen so often? Well, this, this is a lot of pain on this, on this stage, you know that? A lot of pain, I hear a lot of pain. A lot of live soap opera pain. Uh, and, and, and howdy doody, you know? Uh, how, <laughs> and how, How do you respect someone's mother? How do you pick your friends? 
That's how right. do you finally select the kind of person that really is, has a meaningful relationship? He talks about friendship, Russell does. Maybe that's the way he should have started with her as a friend. And all of this confusion might not have started. So in my book, I say, friendship first, lover second, honesty always. And the mother is complaining about honesty. Am I right, mother? Mm -hmm. So, all of honesty is, always. Honesty Friendship always. Friendship first, lover second, second honesty, honesty always. always. And then let's take Chris. Chris, when Chris uses the term <laughs> Chris is talking about his own insecurities. He's not talking about anybody else. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People, 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 Secure well, we have people. a problem. The sister He's is... He's been respected in my mother's house. Right. Either you call him black or African-American right. or something, because my right. kids are yeah. mixed. Because you don't use the word. No, but no, 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 what I'm trying, what what I'm trying to say here is, is she's correct. She's he correct. Has but what I'm trying to say is, pieces. Chris has his internal problems. Chris has his own insecurities. So we're talking, when we talk about insecurities, we have to talk to Brother Bird, because Brother Bird talks about something that's very interesting. He talks about a, an adult as a child. You mind me. So when you mind me, you have the roles confused. Right. This is an adult person here. How old are you, Kim? 22. Okay. See, this is an adult person. It, uh, mind me even in a marriage. See, in our marriages, sometimes we get our roles confused. We come into marriages feeling like we're still, uh, we're still, we take the papa position instead of the husband position. And then that causes, confuses, confuses the child, confuses the father, and everybody's confused. All and right, then that's what happens. Let me take a break and then let's go down through our couples and see if we can't straighten some of this out. We'll be right back. Right. Gwen, you've said uh, yeah. women have a tendency to recycle pain. Oh, yes. Now, what does that mean in terms you know, of living through our daughters? All of us have a daughters? tendency, not just women. We all if we don't learn the lesson, if we don't learn the lesson, we will recycle the pain. And most of the pain we recycle is a bunch of garbage. And recycled garbage is good for the environment, not for relationships. <laughs> okay? Okay. And feel that the mothers dislike the boyfriends because the daughters come crying to the mothers about I'm what a, problems I'm a, they're I'm having. I'm a mother uh, uh, of 20 year olds, and so I understand these mothers wanting to protect their children. But one of the things we have to do with our children is give them high self esteem. That is the greatest protector against abuse, <laughs> against, against, against being misused. And that's the best asset we could give a young person today, is to stop this self-fulfilling prophecy. So when you keep telling your child, he's no good, she's no good, then they fulfill your very prophecy about them. The minute you tell a child they're no good, they grow up no good. Yeah. Let's start with our first family. Should mother back off? What should sister do? And what happens with the young lady who's got one in the oven? You know, uh, one of the things that I want to say to this, uh, this family is that they need to talk to one another, not at one another, you know? Mm -hmm. we, we have tried talking this over. We have really sat down, Colleen and I have sat mm -hmm. down, and we've talked about it. Okay. No, I ask her for advice, not for her to butt her nose in it and tell me what to do. Just uh, like with her, she, it's okay for, it's not okay for him no. to say in front of anybody, but it's okay when I have her, my, her, my nieces, which are mixed, and somebody walks up and asks me, oh, yeah. are they zebras? Excuse me, I'm oh, I don't wait, understand wait, wait. that. It is not it's okay for somebody to call, call her my kid zebras, a zebra, okay, but you it's not okay for him to say three. Yeah. You no, see, do you see okay what I mean? You see, say this that, isn't a, but this is okay exactly. Hold on. You're giving hold us on. a perfect example oh, of what Gwen me, is talking about. You're giving the audience a perfect example mm -hmm. of what I mean. See, you're talking at one another, not to one another. Oh, one of the things I see is the matter in this bro. relationship is, and I talk about it in my book, uh, young women who are raised without men. And one of the things the mothers did, this mother tried to do, she really tried to correct it, by introducing other men who were responsible well, to your family members. Am I correct? See, see other your daughters? family members, not outsiders. Right. See, we model members. ourselves usually after our mothers. But you see, see? All, those un all those unmarried people and all those children <laughs> who don't have a parent, you've done the same thing. See, we'll be right see, back. It's yeah. modeling, modeling. <laughs> Dr. Grant, yes. uh, can we take the next family, Howdy Redux? First, can I please say something? Yes, darling, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, my mom, she always said, you know, she loved him. And we've been friends since we was in fourth grade, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is our senior year. And we've, you know, we dated 
from like January to basically June when she made us be a part. But um, what I felt was, you know, I was giving him a lot of my time, and I feel that she was jealous, not jealous, but I mean, oh, yeah. she was upset that, you know, mm -hmm. I wasn't giving her I all of my attention. She, uh, darling, you no. have brought up a very mm -hmm. major mm -hmm. point. It may not seem that way, but sometimes we do have certain jealousies toward the person mm -hmm. our child is involved with. Now, this, I, have, this, I, have another, I have another daughter, okay? Okay. And she's got a fiance. She's getting Who married she in July. Out. I am not worried about the fact that my kids are going to leave. I, when should, they leave, I want them Dr. to be Grant, safe. Should the mother forbid the two to see each other? Because they're know, sneaking around By forbidding it, by, I'm sorry to say this, but by forbidding it, you enhance it. I love Russell. Don't get me wrong. I love Russell, okay? okay. And I, uh, I accepted good. him into my house. I do. I do. No, really, he's a lovable person. But he, what he does isn't right. I'm not saying, you know, oh, I, I don't, I, okay. I do love him. Okay. But he doesn't use what he's got up okay. here. Now, based on that love, mother, here's your homework assignment. All three of you. <laughs> based on that love, what I want you to begin to talk to Russell. Let him finish his sentences. Russell, you let mother finish her sentences, and the two of you will soon learn how to communicate based on the love you confessed on the Sally Jesse Raphael show. Got it. We never had a time. I think we've heard the expression, the boyfriends, they come and go, and you only have one mother, so we would really like to encourage all of our guests, especially little Colleen and Sherry, to respect their mothers. mothers. You may not always agree with them, but respect right. is very powerful. And as for the mothers, you've had experiences, you can't put it in the bank and right. let your daughters draw it out. It just doesn't work that way. They have to make their own mistakes. Thank you all, and thank you, Gwen. Thank you. Thank you.